Hello, beautiful Taurus people. I'm here with a general reading for the sign of Taurus. So anyone with the sign of Taurus strongly in their chart could resonate with this story. Um, but then again, we're all different ages. We're all living in different parts of the world and going through different depths of experiences. Um, there is just no way that every Taurus person is living in the same template. So please understand that not every story will resonate with you, but hopefully there's something here that can help you in your journey ahead. My beautiful friends, I welcome you into this space. I'm super happy you're here and I look forward to seeing what kind of story comes out for us today. So welcome and let's go ahead and get started. If you do not like the shuffling, if it's too loud, just please move forward in the video to where the reading begins. And there's usually someone who, would time, who, put, who will put a timestamp in the comment section. So check that out if that's how you like to do it. All right, let's go ahead and get started. What is the current energy? What is Taurus? currently dealing with this group of Taurus people. What is this group of Taurus people cur currently experiencing in their, in their energy, currently experiencing in their lives? What is this group of Taurus people currently experiencing in their lives? What is this group of Taurus people currently experiencing in their lives? What is this? group of Taurus people currently experiencing in their lives, please. What is this group of Taurus people currently experiencing in their lives? What is this group of Taurus people currently experiencing in their lives? Man, there's a lot of cards. There's a lot of talking. There's a lot of communication going on right now. All right. Okay, and let's look at what Taurus will be stepping into in the ne in the next, <clears throat> I was going to say near, ooh, the energy changed. So there's a change in energy. So what will Taurus be stepping into in the next immediate incoming energy wave? So we're talking about maybe the next seven to 10 days or the next couple of weeks or even the next three weeks. It's kind of up to you on how fast you're moving. So it's going to depend on the speed at which you're going, the depth of your situation. It would be arrogant of me as a reader um, in my efforts to co-create this message with spirit to put a time frame on this but it is up to you as a reader to see how that fits with with you all right let's go ahead and look at um the next incoming energies for this group of taurus people next what is this i want to see what this card is it didn't come out but it's certainly making itself known queen of swords all right taurus <laughs> what is the next immediate wave of energy that taurus will be stepping into what is the next immediate wave of energy that Taurus will be stepping into, please. What is the next immediate wave of energy that Taurus will be stepping into? What is the next immediate wave of energy that Taurus will be stepping into? give us some guidance. Please extend some guidance towards this story or to, towards these people. Please extend some guidance towards these people, please. All right. Okay, let's get into this energy and see what we have here. We have the five of wands. We have the higher font. There you are. Okay, let me get these cards. I'm just taking this time to kind of get into this energy. So what we have here is the Three of Wands and not the Three of Wands. I wish. Well, we have the Three of Pentacles here, so that's good. We have the Five of Wands next to the higher font. And then we have the Four of Wands lateral underneath the three of pentacles and the ace of swords and the three of pentacles are on the verge of tilting upwards. So I'm going to go ahead and, well, no, I'll leave them like that for a little bit. But throughout this session, I will turn these upright. Um, so we have the five of wands next to the higher font. So there's obviously some kind of conflict that you've run into. Um, there could even be some kind of competition here, Taurus. Um, 
it's almost like it's next to you or it's it, it could be I just feel like there's an energy of separation like have you perhaps separated yourself from some conflict you could have just created a boundary for yourself around this conflict or you could be working to create some kind of separation from this conflict moving away from conflict but there is I feel like an energy of it, whether it let's say that this conflict you could have been wrapped up in this conflict it could have been a part of your story or it could have come into your space and for some reason I feel like you're taking your energy and moving it at a distance like you're you could be disowning this conflict. You could be washing your hands of this conflict. There's something here that you're saying, you know, this really isn't my story. This really isn't a piece of my pie. This really isn't a part of my journey. I'm not quite sure why I am wrapped up in, in this conflict or in this competition or having some kind of internal battle. You are distancing, distancing yourself, distancing yourself from some kind of conflict and I think it's not conflict that you're healing from. I don't necessarily think you're healing from it or you're resolving it. It seems to me like you're stepping away from it and saying, this is not my story. This is not a part of my journey. This, this is something that I stepped into or I stepped on a platform or I got involved with this somehow. And you're, you're in the process. I feel there's a distancing between this conflict. Now we do have the four of wands here lateral. So th this, um, and the four, and these energies are going clockwise. So there is some kind of decision being made or some kind of new message coming in or new opportunity. It's a new idea or a new fina finale or a new, um, idea or or something here in your mind that you're firming up it's like something is clicking into place i feel something has been slowly moving in the mind revolving around in the mind thinking about it deliberating on it one day you feel one way and the next day you might feel slightly different or you might come up with new enlightenment about it but i feel like something is kind of clicking into place um, within the mind. So it's something that you're finding clarity on, whether it's a decision to move forward or some kind of realization about something, there's something that's clicking into place. You could even be going through training. Um, you could be learning something because it's right on top of the three of pentacles. It's, it's, it's very much a part of this three of pentacles. Now the three of pentacles energy is working on something quite new, working on something that's very tangible that you can touch, that you can feel. It does have abundance around it. So th this is probably something that you're working on for work, or it could be a relationship that you're working to bring in. Um, but whatever it is, it's, it's in a place where it's already began to manifest. So um, you're already beginning to experience it. So it could be a job that you just started, a relationship that you just entered into. It's something that you have stepped your feet into, though. It's something that you're actually involved in. It might not be very far along. It might have much more to build much more to grow, but it's something that you're working on that you're feeling very creative about, or it's inspiring you. You're at the beginning of a journey, but you have accomplished something and you know that you have a long way to go, but you know that there's going to be rewards and incentives and um, possibly even like increases in revenue here as you journey along. So it's a very optimistic kind of working energy. You could have a small team of people that you work with. You could be in a learning and a training kind of energy where you're learning from each other or you're learning from a teacher. Um, but there's something here that's beginning to click into place. It is regarding the four of wands. Now the four of wands is going to come later. So this now, this is when I'm twisting it. So I'm going to move it into the upright. I'm changing the energy just a little bit. And for those of you energy, energy channelers, energy workers, you will be able to feel that, that I flip the energy. I, 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 it, it, I think I have a feeling that it can help too in bringing some of these things in if we work with the energy during these readings. But we do have the Four of Wands here, and the Four of Wands is lateral. That tells me that this new foundation that you're creating for yourself, whether it is a new job, a new business that you're starting, or even a relationship that you're in, this foundation is beginning to build. Okay, foundations take time. If you've ever seen anybody build a house, doesn't matter if it's built of sticks 
or built on tires or built out of cement as a foundation, um, it takes some time to build a foundation. Foundations take a long time. There's measurement, there's careful planning, there's a lot of work, there's lifting, there's pouring, there's molding, there's all kinds of work that goes into creating foundations on building. And so to create a foundation, it sometimes takes some time. It takes training, it takes clarity, it takes hard work, it takes optimism, it takes training and learning. But if we stay focused on all of that, this Four of Wands is going to eventually rotate and be in the upright this four of wands here so i do think you're in a very good place taurus right now you you're um reaching some new place of um, victory and clarity in in this work that you're doing or in this new relationship that you're in or a family that you're building and you are establishing yourself a, a very comfortable new foundation in which to take further action once it's built, it will help shelter you. It will help give you a place, a platform, a comfortable and warm and comfort, comforting place in which to take action and which to spring from. It's like creating um, a, a, um, a diving board over a pool. It's something that helps to propel you forward. Even relationships can do this too. They can help stabilize us. You know, if you find a yang to your yin or a yin to your yang, if you can find outside of yourself in another person, a very complementary energy that can help stabilize us. So this is 1111 energy. It doesn't always mean uh, meeting someone who is um, a deep, spiritual partner to us, but it does mean creating a very important, a very well-rounded, very sheltering kind of, of foundation in which to find future success and take future action. So it's, it's a beautiful energy. And, and what this tells me is I feel like there is future, um, future stabilization that's going to happen. There's probably future income that's going to come in from this because we have the pentacles here and there's a victory here that will be attained. So I think Hierophant, this conflict that you're moving away from, it doesn't seem to be hurting you at all. It seems to be helping you find this clarity and reaching a certain milestone or a certain um, victory here for you. Um, the Three of Pentacles is a great energy to be in. I think this is a great place for you, for this group of you, uh, even though there's conflict and even though it seems like there's a bit of drama here. And I even want to do this. I even want to just do this right now. I think that you're able to separate yourself from it and move forward in your own lane on your own path towards your own future successes here. Let's see what's going to come in here in the future for you as you step into the next wave of energy. All right, we have the Five of Cups in reverse. Beautiful, I love that. We have the Six of Swords in the upright. We have the Princess of Wands, the Page of Wands in the upright. We have Judgment Energy in the upright. This is beautiful. We have the, the Page of Pentacles in the upright. I was gonna say the Page of Wands. We have the Page of Pentacles in the upright. We have the Five of Swords and we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, let me get this Five of Swords is calling. So sometimes for me, when I do these readings, a the middle bottom card is like, for me, when I do this, it's like the overall energy. And so what this tells me is you're doing something here that separates you from the crowd. You're doing something here for your own good. So whatever you were involved in in the past with that conflict, and you have another five energy here, it's almost like you were in conflict. See this five? Okay, I can see what they're talking about. There was some kind of a conflict here. It was in action, like it was happening, right? It was happening, but you separated yourself from it and you walked away from it. See here, you're walking away from this kind of energy. You're walking away from that kind of conflicting energy. And I think when you do that, you could have some feelings of, you know, this isn't very nice of me. You know, I should really care more about people. I should really be on someone's side. I should really do my part and fight this battle, whatever it is, you're leaving the drama. And as you leave the drama, there is this weird feeling of like going off on your own when you're used to being in a pack or when you're used to being with a group of people and then you go off on your own, you go through kind of an energy change. You go through an energy transformation where you move from a group think 
you move from a group energy into a solitary energy. And as you do that, you have to leave energy behind. It's almost like as you move into clear space, as you, as you move into a clear energy, all that old dense energy that's been around you, they're just showing me a picture here of all this dark energy around this person um, kind of falling off behind him in like dark clouds as he walks forward. And it's kind of a dense energy. It's kind of hard to do that. It's hard to move through a dense energy into a clear energy. It's, it's almost like if you could imagine fog, if you're, and there's fog there, if you can imagine fog being like water, how would, well, it is water, okay? If you can imagine fog being as dense as it is to actually walk through the water, like water in the ocean as you're walking, let's say water is up to your thighs or up to your waist, and you're walking through that water, that is a dense feeling. It takes a lot of energy to do that. Well, if you can imagine if this fog had that same, required that same kind of strength to walk through that fog as it as water does as we walk through it, um, it would create um, a resistance on you. So you would have to use a lot of energy to walk forward. That's how, it's, that's how it's going to feel. But sometimes that's how we attain our own success. If we're able to step forward as a solitary person, understanding our own individual strength as one person, we can really accomplish then our own victories and our own successful movement ahead. We aren't drugged down by the other people here and what their desires are and what their agendas are and what their conflicts are. Are. I mean, in a way, it's enough we, that we can take care of ourselves rather than taking care of a whole village. There is something here. Whatever you're separating yourself here from is not um, a healthy place. So it's necessary for you if you're going to find new momentum as this Wheel of Fortune is and this judgment energy says that you need to separate yourself from whatever this drama is and you're right to do that. Even though it might at the time feel somewhat selfish or feel somewhat awkward, there is such a thing as healthy selfishness. There is such a thing as healthy selfishness. And sometimes we need to step into that energy as we walk forward in our own individual strength. We do have another five here with a five of cups in reverse. So you're starting to move away from that weird, awkward feeling that you have um, when you leave a situation where you're kind of trying to be pulled back. Let's say if you're really involved in something at work or really involved with a job and you move on from one job to the other, um, when we get so tied up with what we're doing and we really believe in it and we're really part of the team and we move away from that team and we move to a different team or we move to our own business, we can sometimes be pulled back into that energy. Our thoughts can go there. We think about them. We worry about their successes. We worry about how things are going. We can. It takes a while for those threads to really thin between one group of per people and another. So um, I see this five of cups here in reverse. It tells me that you're you're being able to to really lighten those threads of energy between you and this conflict so that you can move forward here with the six of swords in a peaceful way in a different way towards a new future this reading is so clear Taurus. your energy is so clean right now um it's it's a very clear reading uh, yesterday i did several readings that were the energy was very dense and very complicated it's not like this with you taurus you're, and it must be that Ace of Swords here. It's this Ace of Swords. You're, you're finding a lot of clarity. It's like you're, you're, you're moving into a much more clean energy. And it's so much easier to think. It's so much easier to move. It's so much easier to light that flame within you. You're looking forward into the future here in, in a very youthful, energetic way. You're very passionate about where you're going. There's a second chance here. There's a beautiful new beginning for you in whatever you're doing. And you're really feeling that appreciation and that gratefulness for whatever has been extended to you or whatever you have been able to reach. Whatever milestone that you've ever been able to reach now, now you are looking up at divine energy and saying, thank you for your warmth. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you for the strength that you have helped me build within myself. Look, her feet are very much on the ground here, Taurus. So she's very connected with earth. And, and it's just a very humble place to be. I don't really feel a whole lot of ego here. I don't feel a lot of um, energies that are... What am I trying to say? I just feel as you move into the future, your energy is going to be clear. 
your ego is going to be in check. You are going to have this openness and this humility that really can bring you into a beautiful manifestation place in your life. When we allow the ego to drop, when we are very open and um, and transparent with our strengths and our weaknesses and, and our gratefulness and our appreciation for what we have, um, it truly can help enhance manifestation it can help you reach your goals to be in this kind of an energy and we see the wheel of fortune here we also see the page of pentacles here so things are beginning to start happening for you that whatever you're working on you're starting to begin to see recognition or tangible improvements maybe it's not huge improvements maybe it's not huge significant changes but you're beginning to be able to see in your hands or in your pocketbook or in somehow in your daily walk things are beginning to get better for you they are beginning to improve for you and it's this ability that we can take time and notice these victories even if they're small even if they're tiny we can take time to notice what they are be grateful for those improvements appreciate them and move forward this is called time tracking it's called goal it, it, I, whatever sorry i i just i what's happening here i just got cut off okay i need to something is happening here right as you exit the energy right as you go out of this next energy wave something is happening Something's happening. Something just happens. Well, the Wheel of Fortune next to the Five of Swords. So there's something that just happens. This came in in the upright. Six of Pentacles, or Six of Cups, too. I think that you're having some kind of epiphany is what it is, because the Ten of Cups comes out with the Empress um, beginning to come in. So I think you're beginning to have some kind of epiphany here, and the Six of Cups really showed itself. There's something here that that happens. Lover's energy flipped over. Ooh, there's something that's going on here. Okay, let me... It might be this wheel of fortune. Let me look into the wheel. Something's happened. I could. I, I felt the energy just switch, right? Out, right as I was talking about the page of pentacles, you're starting to see some kind of tangible changes, some kind of improvements, and they might not be huge. Um, they could be small, but you're able to track them. You're able to count them. You're able to look at. She's counting the money here. She's able to count it. She's able to track it. And she's seeing evidence of improvement here. And as I moved this way, there was something that jolted here, the Wheel of Fortune. There could be a second small little squirmish or something, but there's something here with this conflict in the Wheel of Fortune. So let me go deeper into the Wheel of Fortune. Hermit. You might have had an epiphany here. Four of Cups that flipped over earlier. Chariot, it was like this. So you could have something really start happening. You could have had something here that's really big and it's starting to come in for you, Taurus. Um, there's something on the verge of happening here, Queen of Swords, and you're protecting it. So I, there could be a second small step that you're needing to take here to protect some kind of incoming improvement. Maybe there is even something like a bonus coming in or um, some kind of promotion coming in here that's beginning to show up. The chariot is here. It's beginning to kind of get in line. You might have been put on notice or you could have received some kind of a message about something really starting to engage, something really started to get going. And then the Queen of Swords comes in here. So there could be some kind of secondary um, protection that you're going to need to be doing about this fortune or this new momentum. 
Um, sometimes when we create boundaries like this and we move away from an old lifestyle or an old way of being, um, there are aftershocks. You know, there are aftershocks, there are secondary battles, there are um, additional battles that we fight. In my experience, that often happens, but I, from my experience, every additional kind of squirmish, skirmish, not squirmish, <laughs> every additional skirmish or every additional occurrence is like less than the one before. So you could get waves of emotion or you could get, you thought you might be done with a certain job or you thought you might be finished with a certain person and they could show back up again and you're going to have to build the boundaries again. So there could be something like that here. Something that happens here. Let me, I'm going to go into the crack here. So I'm going to take my energy and go into the crack between these two cards and see what comes in. Tower. Ace of Wands. There's some new action you're taking here. You could even be meeting someone new or some new actions that you're taking that you're feeling quite passionate about. And there's some sort of surprise that's in here. Okay, I'm not kidding about this, you guys. There's some sort of surprise that's in here. It comes with the Ace of Wands. So it's a good action. It's exciting action. It's something that kind of it's, it doesn't kind of, it really surprises you. It, it surprises you. So as you're counting this money or as you're tracking your improvements, it stops you in your tracks. Something stops you in your tracks. So there could be a new person coming in, a nine of pentacles, some new money coming in. There could be something really great happening um, or, or some kind of new job coming in for you. It, the, it puts you in the nine of pentacles. It gives you a, a you could have some kind of big chunk of money coming in, or you could have some kind of major improvement here in your own individual strength or in your capacity to earn a living or some kind of harvest coming in. There's some kind of harvest coming in. You could all of a sudden realize that you're self-reliant. You could all of a sudden realize that you don't need anything from anyone. It could be that kind of epiphany that's so great, something you've never experienced before in your life. It doesn't have to be ten thousand dollars it doesn't have to be a million dollars it can just be the epiphany of being able to be self-reliant and to be able to be, feel secure in your income it could be something like that but whatever it is it really stops you in your tracks and it makes you take note because it totally stopped me as i my whole mind went blank so something comes in here and i feel like it could be quite delicious but there is a real surprise here Six of Cups showed up again. There could be some, a soul path or realization that you can attain your soul path, or there could be some, some kind of a soul connection coming in here, a soul mate, a soul path, somebody from your family, um, some kind of epiphany that helps you understand what family is or what community is. It's something here that comes in that's quite beautiful. And it does have to do with the actions you're taking. It does have to do with new passion, new action, new lifestyle, something new that you're actually doing. And it fills you with fire. It fills you with, with energy. It's, it's full of chemistry. It's full of passion. It's exciting. Um, it's mind blowing with the tower. It's mind blowing. It's something that shows how powerful you are, how self-reliant you are, how beautiful this harvest is going to be for you. And it's something that helps you connect here to revitalize and, and reform or rebuild that soul within you somehow. So there's something here at the end of this period of time next between this conflict energy and this wheel of fortune. If there's something that happens like right in the spot, right here, that's where all these energies came in. So there's something here that's going to happen that's going to bring you a new sense of vitality or an epiphany or some increased revenue or something. It's quite beautiful. I've never really had that happen before where I was just cut off like that so quickly. And to be honest with you, I have never gone in between cards like that before. That is something new that I've done um, that I was just guided to do. So it's kind of fun to do new things. And um, thank you for giving me the chance to expand and grow and learn um, while I'm doing readings. It's really fun. So let's look at the guidance here. Let's look at the guidance here. Guidance for Taurus, Eight of Swords, 
Nine of Wands, King of Wands. Well, this guidance is talking about freeing yourself, freeing yourself from negative ways of thinking, from um, actions that continue on the same trajectories of unhealthiness and um, frustration. So it's talking about the need here. See how we have the Eight of Swords and then the Nine of Wands? This is talking about protecting yourself from negativity, protecting yourself from a certain way of thinking, from lifestyles that keep us trapped in negativity or in um, hopelessness or helplessness. This is talking about the difference between the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Wands. There's a different energy. The Eight of Swords can sometimes be like a victim mentality. The world is out to get me. People are out to get me. This is what this person did to me and I have never recovered from it. That kind of energy is the Eight of Swords. The Nine of Wands energy is like, you know what? I've been through many battles and I'm not stopping. I'm not giving up. I know my skills and my capacities and although I might be scarred, I might be bruised, I might have broken bones. I'm standing tall in front of who I am and I'm taking effort now. I'm make, taking actions. I am taking preemptive action to protect myself from anything like this in the future. See the difference between the energy of the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Wands. One is um, sinking into a lower energy of frustration, negative thinking, um, cycling around, um, cycling around in um, frustrating life patterns. And then there's nine of wands saying, you know what? I've been there. I've done that. I've learned a lot. I'm not going to let that happen again. And I'm not quitting. And I'm standing here in front of who I am saying, I'm going to give this another go. This king of wands energy is the energy of taking action in your life and creating, creating, um, building, having a clean slate or taking um, a picture of something and renewing it rejuvenating it, building upon it. So it's a, it's a, it's an energy of taking action. Um, there's something more that wants to come out here. I, I feel like there's something more I need to get, but, and I will. So the King of Wands is a masculine energy and males and females can both be in masculine energies. All this means is that this person, you are out taking action in your exterior world to make it better, to make it more fulfilling, to make it more lucrative, to make it more abundant for yourself. You're doing this with your heart center, with your passion center. You're using that engine, that fire within you from the abdomen, right? From the lower chakras that helps propel you forward. Um, this could be in giving presentations. This can be in some kind of a performance. Um, the King of Wands is a powerful influencer. He's a powerful, inventive um, creator. He can think differently. He can think very interesting. He can think in different wavelengths and in different um, grid lines. He he is he has a very expansive mind. Many kings of king of wands energy. These people have started from nothing and have built themselves vast empires, not by following a, a routine or following someone else's schedule, but by doing things their own way and thinking differently, thinking out of the box. So this is very inventive, creative energy, and it's definitely taking action to build and. Um, to build and renew and revitalize your exterior world in some way. So I really like these energies. Now there's something else that wants to come out here with the King of Wands. What else wants to come out? It's like he wants to talk to me. That's where I'm getting this. He wants to say something. All right. What does the King of Wands want to say? What does the King of Wands want to say? Whoa. Emperor. Jeez. Ten of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Two of Pen There's some kind of decision here um, that you're making. There's some kind of decision that you're making here. See the emperors here. It's a masculine energy of taking action and creating abundance in your lives. There's some kind of decision with the Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Some kind of an action decision. How to do this? Should I do it this way or should I do it this way? Deciding how to take action. Which 
path to go down. And then not only deciding which path to go down, but how to juggle everyday duties, everyday routines, what to do first, what to do next, what to do last, how to really do it, how to manage your day-to-day -day operations, how to manage your day, how to build your routine, and how to juggle all of these duties that we have to do so that you can have a smooth journey forward. So there is um, some changing around here for you, um, but the Ten of Pentacles is here. So uh, I think this is a great reading for you, Taurus. It, it takes time to reach the Ten of Pentacles. It's not something we can do by clicking our heels together and we're there. It is a part of the journey. But with the Ten of Pentacles here next to the Two of Pentacles, it tells me that that there is an energy here that the King of Wands, which is you in this very action oriented um, period of time, you are taking a, you are deciding which path you're going to go on um, in, a, in a very disciplined way. The Emperor here thinks he's been through many battles. The Emperor can very well be in the Nine of Wands energy too. He's been through many battles. He wants to do it differently now. He has learned how to do things differently. He has learned how to manage his life, manage his day. He's efficient with what he does. He follows his own guidelines and his own routines. He's very disciplined. He's very careful. And he doesn't mess around. He doesn't do take actions that are unnecessary. He thinks before he takes actions. He likes things to flow very smoothly. He likes things to be very efficient and orderly. Um, there's something, some kind of energy that you're in here um, where you're learning to, you're, you're deciding what path you're going to take, how you're going to do this, and you're kind of in a way like working to organize your day, learning how to juggle day-to-day -day operations. And this is going to guide you to this Ten of Pentacles, this energy of extreme comfort, financial abundance, um, financial stability, ability to enjoy life and um, to um, go on adventures and to really relax and enjoy the simple things in life, not having to worry about survival or not having to worry about what's in the bank or what the next person is going to do to you and how the next person can impact your life. You're really here focusing on the self and bringing in abundance and protection and comfort and safety to yourself and how you feel about your home, your external life, your work, your bank accounts, all of that. So it's a really good energy, Taurus, and I'm excited to see this for you. So for this group of people who are in this energy, um, this is an exciting time. And yes, um, it might be difficult. And yes, you're moving away from something that's been hard, but it's all transformations take this kind of this kind of energy. And I think that you're realizing that and you're not letting it stop you. So that's pretty exciting, Taurus. Um, I am going to go ahead now. Let me something on my computer. I'm going to go ahead now and move into the extended. I'm going to take a short break and then move into the extended. And in the extended, I am going to look deeper. Well, I'm definitely going to look deeper at this Wheel of Fortune because there's something around this Wheel of Fortune that's big. I'm going to look at this Three of Pentacles to see if we can get any more information about this Three of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. And I think I'm going to look at this emperor. I'm going to look, okay, so I'm going to look at this emperor and this 10 of pentacles. All right, so these are the energies I'm going to look at in the extended. I'm going to look deeper into this wheel of fortune to see what this is. See if we can get more information about what this is. Um, the three of pentacles, I'll dig a little bit into this. I think I've, I kind of know what it is, but I always like to dig deeper into this to get a little bit more information. Definitely the four of wands, this new foundation that you're building, whether it's a new relationship, a new job, a new business, I want to dig deeper into that. And then I, I want to see what the emperor has to say, and I definitely want to find out what's here what's here for you in the Ten of Pentacles. So those are the energies that I'm going to look, that I'm going to look into, and I'll look at a couple of the people around you um, and what their intentions are as, as time moves forward. All right, Taurus, um, this has been really fun. If you're satisfied with this reading, happy with this reading, that makes me happy too. If you would like more information, feel free to follow me to the extended. That will be in the link below. All right, Taurus, it's been fun. It's been real. And I wish you all the very, very best as you move forward in this experience. Thank you.